Okay, hey guys, welcome to my summer 2014 forecast. Um, so basically, this is going to be without the hurricane forecast. That's going to be completely separate, and that's going to come with the second and third one. This is one of three. So uh, yeah, basically, this you're not going to. Uh, you gonna, you know, I give some hints at it, but I'm not really going to go over that that much. But basically, here's the anomaly. Uh, Here's the temperature anomalies based off of ENSO. So basically what I did is I took what our ENSO is going to be like this spring, or this summer, hopefully, or what it's looking like, and I put that into um, the anomaly maker with uh, no, that's what I call it, the anomaly maker, but that's pretty much what it is. Um, so this is the temperature forecast, as you can see, it would show colder in these zones, I think less extreme and less spread out, but um, definitely gives you a hint of what it's going to be like. So, yeah, let's move on to precipitation. Um, it's really spread out, hard to see, but this is what it's trying to say. Um, it really depicts a, a lot of precipitation in this area, and I think that will spread into here and also into here. Um, much more spread out basically. Let's check out the AccuWeather Summer Outlook. Now this is based off of highlights and sorry it says it's spelled wrong but it's really not. Um, so yep link to all these in the description so I don't get like you know hated for not giving them proper credit or whatever you guys come up with. But, okay, so you see strong storms in this zone. I really feel like that will be kind of like this, and you'll see my forecast. So you're basically going to see my, um, you're going to see my opinion on all these once you see my forecast at the very end. Give you guys a couple minutes to look at that. Let's move on to the old farmer's almanac summer out. Look. It's the old farmer's almanac. This is the farmer's almanac and the old farmer's almanac. Two different things. You gotta keep that in mind. Even though both of them be seem to actually have a similar forecast. Hot and dry in this zone. They really make it boxy most of the time, which is um, kind of weird, but you know, you get what you get. Honestly, it would be much more efficient to do it that way anyway. Hot and dry, really little in that area. Hot and dry, I think it might be a little dry into this zone. Um, but overall, well done here. Um, and here's the normal Farmer's Almanac outlook. Um, and they, they do it, basically this is just less specific. Um, as you can see, bigger zones and all. oppressively humid, hinting at something there. Also, um, wet and thundery, so thunderstorms obviously in this zone. Let's check out my temperature forecast now. Slightly colder than average, basically in the Great Lakes area, going up into uh, eastern Montana. Then slightly warmer everywhere from the Midwest, swinging down to the Swinging down into basically the Mississippi River Valley, all the way back up into the southern mid-Atlantic, mid-Atlantic. Um, then warmer than average, anywhere from mainly Texas going into California. Sorry about that, it just shifted a little bit. Um, here's my precipitation forecast. Slightly drier than average in this zone, this is spreading all the way from Wisconsin, going all the way into Washington and Oregon, swinging down into um, Nevada and Utah, then going all the way into Texas. Then drier than average anywhere from California, spreading into central Texas slash uh, coastal eastern Texas. Slightly wetter than average, going all the way from Florida, swinging all the way around to Oklahoma, 
Colorado, Nebraska, Iowa. This is Illinois, Indiana, Kentucky, West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, you know, New Jersey, Delaware, all the way up into Maine. Then what are the average from Nebraska, Kansas, into North Carolina and Virginia? Let's check out my overall forecast. Colder with some rain in uh, northern portions of the country. Rainy in the northeastern parts of the country. Rainy in Kentucky, Tennessee, West Virginia, that area. Strong thunderstorms in southern mid-Atlantic. Not severe. Not going to be as many, not that many severe uh, thunderstorms, but strong thunderstorms. So there's not going to be a lot of weak thunderstorms. But there's certainly not going to be any, you know, tornado outbreaks. Or not a lot of them, at least. There's probably going to be some, but definitely not, like, more than this area. In the severe weather areas, where I like, really feel like there's going to be a lot of severe weather. And in this, it says activity right there, but you guys can't see it because it got cut out on accident. The most tropical activity right here, dry right here, hinting at not a lot of tropical activity. But also, I think that there will be some tropical activity on the East Coast. So, yeah, that's why Florida's there, because it can go, it's kind of in the middle there. Severe, uh, I already went over that. Dry with very little drought relief in this area. So, we're still going to be dealing with that drought. Uh, very little, if any, uh, drought relief. And, uh, yeah. So, yep, thanks for watching, guys. Um, like my page Mid-Atlantic Weather Center on Facebook and subscribe to me on YouTube at Ashton Blue. Thank you guys for watching. Please share this video on Facebook and uh, don't forget to leave a comment uh, giving me your input. See you guys later.